Hello, it's February 2022, and before I get into this serious video, I just want to apologize if you can hear the heater blower working. Um, it's the Wabasso heater, and it's kind of chilly. So anyway, to get to the point of this video. This video is inspired by a very recent event on a very serious, very serious topic. And of course, I'm going to omit any particulars of any individuals involved. And it has to do with people self-harming themselves successfully and attempts. In my life, I've had two people that I knew that uh, the first one I was in my late teens. And I think I was about maybe 18, 19 years old stupid we're all stupid at that age no matter how smart we are we're stupid and um, it was a female that I knew uh, we were friends and I remember her saying something about uh, this is going back a long time and um, she had those thoughts but anyway uh, ended up not seeing her after that uh, just like brief friends and I don't know, it was maybe a year or so later, not even, that I read that uh, they were successful at self-harming themselves. And I'm trying to use the, the word, uh, it's a sensitive topic. And I just remember hearing about it and uh, it was, wow. And I'm gonna fast forward a number of years I would, I'm going to guess it was around 2009, maybe. Uh, there was uh, another female friend. We were just friends, and I'm not going to get into the whole details of everything because it's just a really screwed up story. But, um, you know, they were looking for something more, and I wasn't interested. And I remember one evening. I was on my computer and got an email from this person and basically it was their, again going along with this descriptive uh, self-harm letter. And this person had kind of talked like this a few times before and I just kind of whatever but as I was sitting there at my desk, it was late at night I remember. I just, I don't know, something just made me have a second look. So I printed off those letters. Something was, something was wrong. I knew something was wrong. And I, they were about a half hour drive from where I was. So as I was driving on, on the Bluetooth, I had, um, I called the ambulance and the police. By the time I got to that location, the uh, the police had just arrived, I guess, with the, the ailments was there first. So I just remember the police were just arriving as I was coming around the corner. And the one officer, I flagged him down real quick as he was turning. He said, just wait here. I was maybe about, I'm gonna guess five houses away. And I literally watched them kick down the door of this person's house and they went in and the paramedics went in and they were in there for a while and they I seen them take take her out on a stretcher and the, the one officer who came came up to me like he, in his vehicle and said uh, that I saved her life and I remember that was uh, that was pretty traumatic because if I would have hesitated any longer that person wouldn't be here today and then I look you know I think back you know I might have waited I'm going to guess maybe half an hour before I it dawned on me like there's something wrong take this seriously and so even 
when I think about it now as I'm telling the story, I... Why? But, again, I mean, when you see, there's a pattern, right? So it's just kind of like, oh, here, here we go again. And just to finish up that particular story with that person, I hadn't talked to that person, um, that person in maybe six months to a year, and then they contacted me out of the blue. And they were very thankful. The emails are still, still there. Very thankful for what I did. You know, we ended up meeting in a parking lot. Um, by now, it was further away to, I had to travel further. And it ended up being like mid late evening and we sat and we talked. And this person, I mean, I, I, I kind of almost fell in for a trap. So as a token, so I didn't have to drive back late and stuff they said well let me the least I can do is get you um, a motel room and then you can go in the morning so it's like fine didn't know the area and they ended up coming to the motel room so they said well let's let, I'll, I'll, they got me one and they wanted to show me where it was so we went in my vehicle and I was gonna go back drop drop her off at hers, I think we were gonna, she wanted to get a bite to eat her treat type of thing. And um, it ended up being a screwed up evening. There was two beds in that room and so she's like, I'm just gonna spend the night. I'm like, all right. And I don't know, I'm not gonna get into how screwed up that was. But I, I ended up saying, you know something, I, I just, let's just go I want to take you she said okay so I went outside warmed up the my vehicle and um, waited and waited and the police show up and take her out and they were quite jerks to me I have no idea why and I ended up going to the police station after on my own just as you know like what happened what's going on and this is the problem when you have these beta males in positions of authority. Whatever story that she had told them, I don't know. I mean, just remember, it's like, well, how long are we having a relationship with, with her? And I'm like, I don't have a relationship with her. We, we're just literally friends. Like, there's, there's nothing. Complete ass. But anyway, sorry for the language. So... And then I got like 800 text messages after that. And I have no idea. Just, that's just, um, I'm going to say a bad term, batshit crazy, right? But I thought this person was being sincere, but they wanted more. Whatever. So there's two examples in my life where I had to deal with someone um, with self-harming so being online I meet a lot of different people a lot of people contact me and you know a lot of times the you know you you may talk for a few days for a few weeks a few months and you know people we all go on our own way type of thing and there's been a, a few that I've met years ago that were still friends online and really appreciate that friendship. But when you're meeting people, you don't know, even if, you, if you're if you talking to them for a few months. You, and when they, when they start to mention this, I take it seriously. And... Especially when when there's a, a comment made that I don't know, it just brings me back to those two times that I had experience with this myself, per personal. You know, working in the mental health industry, there's other times, but it's a completely different um, state of mind. 
So I take this, I take these things seriously and I do care about people. I don't have much to offer anyone in this world. I've, I've offered people help with their legal problems successfully. And I've offered people my time, like homeless people, uh, talking with them, you know. And I mentioned before there was a homeless guy, it's one gas station that I would go, that I go to when I can, when I'm in the area. And um, it seemed like uh, when I met him, just to read that story real quick, he was really depressed, really down. Just ended up talking to him. Some people donated some money, and I gave away one of my meals and bought him. Um, was it McChicken combo? Cheapest combo on the menu. And uh, asked him for his name, talked to him, learned his story, talked. And then any time that I seen him there, and I haven't. Uh, I've been there several times since. Haven't seen him. So last time I did see him, he was really happy. Really. I don't know what he just seemed really good and he was getting a place and he wanted to go back to his home province so I haven't seen him so I'm assuming that uh, he turned himself around but my point is I, I offer what I can to people and I do care about people especially when someone starts to get to know someone more personally and when you have them saying something red flags for me and I worry and like for example and again I'm not I don't disclose any any information about anybody about any topic about anything So I just want to let everyone know, maybe you're thinking about, you know, saying hi, introducing yourself, sharing a story or whatever, that's great, but I don't even, you know, I, I just, I don't have, I, I don't have time, patience or energy for games. I'm trying to survive myself and I'm, you know, going through my physical hardships in life here for my efforts but anyway without dragging this on too long I'm just sharing this for what it's worth feel free if you want to reach out uh, on the chat say hi and uh, whatever else I also like meeting people making new friends even if sometimes you're just brief and uh, even the people that I've lost touch with over the years People who have stuck out the most to me, I, I remember. We may not be talking, but I always remember. Some of you are still in my prayers. So, anyway, for what it's worth, just wanted to get this off my chest, and I'm just going to close off with one saying: Don't seek permanent solutions for temporary problems. And it also relates to matters with current worldwide events and what's being imposed. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Listen to this and write it down if you can't remember it. You're never going to outgrow warfare. You simply must learn to fight. I hear people saying to me all the time, when is it going to get easier? When you die.